हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर पीडिया आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी सो दो स्टूडेंट्स हु आर फ्रॉम इंस्ट्रूमेंट एज एन इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नो दिस टाइम देर आर मेनी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन पब्लिक सेक्टर्स फॉर इंस्ट्रूमेंट एन इंजीनियर्स बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एन इंजीनियरिंग इज लेस बट नंबर ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट इज मोर इन ऑल द ऑयल सेक्टर कंपनी वी हैव रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट एन इंजीनियर इन बार्क in npcl everywhere we have a requirement of instrument as engineer as well as in all thermal power plant we have a requirement of instrument as engineers and similarly in oil the sugar mills we have requirement of instrument as engineers you know so if you prepare for any public sector this time or so this is a golden era to get a good job okay so hpcl has announced recruitment for instrument as engineering so those from instrumentation they must fill if you are eligible they must fill uh, the form of hpcl exam and they must prepare for this exam because hpcl is a very good employer especially for instrument as engineers uh, oil sector companies are really good okay so start preparing for this hpcl exam and uh, qualify the exam and then get this job okay now uh, in this video i am going to discuss the pattern of the exam okay according to the previously conducted papers we have some analysis so that i am going to do right now okay so we can see here first of all what is the general structure of the exam so here we can see the duration of the exam is 150 minutes okay two and half hours okay uh, then uh, total time uh, total number of questions is 170 so average time duration available per question you can see is 0.88 minutes okay or around 50 seconds we can say in rough, rough okay for one question so the level of the question is going to be really easy you have to just tick the question if you know the answer tick the second 10 second you can use in one question okay so that is not a big issue now Uh, overall out of 170 questions 85 questions are from technical and uh, 85 questions are from non technical part so here uh, non technical part uh, play a very important role in your final selection in qualifying the written exam because 50% weightage is there you know so every student must take it seriously to do well in this and especially instrument as an engineer because in instrument as an there are a lot of topics that becomes difficult to prepare actually that becomes difficult to collect the content but if you look for non technical part good content is available everywhere okay and uh, you know the type of questions you know the pattern how to solve you can solve the questions right so instrument engineers don't skip this don't take it lightly prepare seriously for this non technical part okay and you know your pd is providing written exam preparation module so in which there is separate module for non tech if you are from instrumentation you can join the non tech module so that you can score 85 out of 85 okay you should try to score 85 out of 85 correct okay and this can be achieved by regular practice by understanding all the concept okay now if we move to the technical section so we see here this is the distribution of the topics according to the number of questions so first of all the highest weightage is of industrial instrumentation 16 questions are from industrial instrumentation so this is the most important if you focus on this so 85 plus 16 100 plus you will get okay 101 questions you can get if you prepare non tech part as well as industrial instrumentation okay and uh, then we have process control that is also important and uh, process control there are six questions then we have industrial communication this is also of six questions okay so this is also good number third highest weightage and then microprocessor 8085 instructions okay then automation five questions okay and uh, then we have power electronics four questions measurement four questions digital electronics four questions control system four questions analog electronics four questions scada you know supervisory control and data acquisition system mein three questions from scada 
रिलायबिलिटी एंड क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट थ्री क्वेश्चन पाइथन लैंग्वेज यू नो पाइथन से भी क्वेश्चन पूछे जा रहे हैं ठीक है सब बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ पाइथन देर वर थ्री क्वेश्चन इन लास्ट एग्जाम देन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट ओके सो इन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट ऑल्सो वी हैव थ्री क्वेश्चन लास्ट ईयर एंड देन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम ऑप्टिमाइजेशन फोटोमेट्री टाइमर्स सॉफ्ट कंप्यूटिंग न्यूरल नेटवर्क मशीन लर्निंग एनर्जी मैनेजर मेजरमेंट डी सी एस ऑल वन 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 क्वेश्चन ओके सो नाउ इफ वी गो इन टू द डिटेल ऑफ दिस इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ओके सो वॉट इज द इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ऑल द ट्रांसड्यूसर्स कम अंडर इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ओके सो यू हैव यू मस्ट हैव नॉलेज ऑफ ऑल द ट्रांसड्यूसर्स विच आर नाउ डेज यूज इन इंडस्ट्रीज ओके and then measurement techniques for measurement of non electrical quantities like pressure measurement flow measurement temperature measurement liquid level measurement ph measurement humidity measurement density measurement all measurement are important you have to prepare that also that all covers uh, comes under this industrial instrumentation if we see the previous year pattern so in industrial instrumentation you know tachometer tachometer is a very very important transducer very important instrument and there were five questions you know how important is this tachometer for you people five questions from tachometer only so you have to do the postmortem of tachometer you have to understand every concept of tachometer again you can get five questions four questions from this so do detail analysis detail study of tachometer okay and then we were having sensors three questions from different sensors then pressure transmitter there were two questions from pressure transmitter that is also important pt and then there were two questions from optical instruments and spr sensor one question characteristics of instruments like accuracy precision linearity okay uh, dead zone all these characteristics so one question was there and there is one bubble tube one question was based on bubble tube and applications of instrumentation one question was there so out of these the most important was tachometer okay and uh, other sen sensors also you should prepare so that you score well in this 15 plus questions you can secure from industrial instrumentation so do efforts prepare this topic okay and uh, then if we see in detail industrial communication you know industrial communication is also important so don't skip this also okay now in industrial communication OSI model, you know, different protocols are there. OSI model is there. So there were three questions from OSI model. That is important part. And always they ask question from this. Then mode was function code one question, mode was CRC one question, and Bluetooth transmitter one question. So mainly OSI model is the most important in this industrial communication. Please prepare this also. Okay. Now if we go to another topic. we can see automation automation is nowadays done in all the industries so you should have knowledge of automation now in automation there were three questions from robotics and iot okay and one question was from predictive maintenance and one question was from home automation so automation will give you five questions again it is important for this upcoming exam please read about automation different techniques of automation okay and uh, then come to logic family digital electronics actually in digital electronics they ask questions in hpc generally they ask questions from adc dac and logic family you can skip entire digital electronics mainly focus on these two logic family and a to d converter d to a converter okay and other section if you want to study you can go with logic gate they can ask some simple question from logic gate and basic multiplexer they can ask however the most important is logic family and adc there were four question from logic family only okay so adc dac is also important you don't skip that now rqm reliability and quality management so from reliability and quality management there were question, two question from bath tub curve so bath tub curve is important please prepare that okay and uh, then basic concept of reliability and quality one question was there again come back to this so now you know if you complete this 16 marks you get from here 6 marks from process control and industrial communication also you 6 marks you get 16 plus 6 plus 6 so 
और 85 फाइव नॉन टेक एटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी एट वन हंड्रेड थर्टीन इज ए गुड नंबर टू क्वालिफाई द रिटर्न एग्जाम यू नो ओके एंड अदर सेक्शन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इज ऑल्सो ईजी बिकॉज दे मेनली आस्क दिस एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एक्चुअली वी है रिटर्न इज प्राइज इट इज ओनली वन फाइव क्वेश्चन ओके यू कैन टेक एनी वन एट जीरो एट फाइव इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट मेनली फोकस ऑन इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके इसके जो अलग अलग इंस्ट्रक्शन होते हैं ना उसी के ऊपर क्वेश्चन है सिंपल सिंपल क्वेश्चन इंडिविजुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन के बारे में क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं सो पिन डायग्राम आपको पता होना चाहिए फ्लैक्स के बारे में ओके रीड अबाउट द फ्लैक्स देन यू कैन गेट दिस डन ओके नाउ यू नो पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बट इंस्ट्रूमेंट इंजीनियर जनरली डोंट रीड इट सो इट इज योर चॉइस वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी योर नोट ओके इफ यू हैव टाइम यू कैन गो विद पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बट मेजरमेंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इलेक्ट्रिकल मेजरमेंट फ्रॉम दिस मेनली ए सी ब्रिजेज ओके ए सी ब्रिजेज जनरली दे आस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्केरिंग ब्रिज सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज प्रिपेयर दिस ओके देन कंट्रोल सिस्टम यू डोंट स्किप फोर क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर बिकॉज इट इज ईजी ईजी कंट्रोल सिस्टम वेरी ईजी क्वेश्चन लीनियर कंट्रोल सिस्टम फोकस इट डू इट ओके एंड देन एनोलॉग सो डोंट गो इन द एंटायर एनोलॉग मेनली फोकस ऑन सिमिट ट्रिगर एंड ओपैम ओके सिमिट ट्रिगर एंड ओपैम फोकस ऑन दीज टू टॉपिक्स मेनली इन एनोलॉग डोंट गो इन टू द डिटेल ऑफ एंटायर एनोलॉग नो नीड ओके देन स्काडा इज रिक्वायर्ड इन इंडस्ट्री ऑल्सो सो वेटर टू प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स ओके यू कैन स्किप ऑल्सो देन आर क्यू एम पाइथन इज ए लार्ज सब मीन बिग सब्जेक्ट यू हैव टू डू ए लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सो इट इज योर चॉइस वेदर आर यू इंटरेस्टेड इन पाइथन और नोट डोंट गो विद मशीन लर्निंग बिकॉज ओनली वन क्वेश्चन इज देयर एंड इट इज वास्ट सब्जेक्ट सो यू कैन इग्नोर दिस मशीन लर्निंग एंड देन न्यूरल नेटवर्क यू कैन इग्नोर राइट नाउ सॉफ्ट कंप्यूटिंग यू कैन इग्नोर ओके सो दिस सब्जेक्ट यू कैन इग्नोर एंड फोकस ऑन दिस मेनली सो यू विल क्वालिफाई द रिटर्न एग्जाम दिस स्ट्रेटेजी यू हैव टू फॉलो ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड ऑल द कंसेप्ट and for instrument engineer again i am reminding you for non tech part module is ready with europedia you can prepare okay all the best